College football kicks off in just a few short weeks, and Aggies are already looking forward to the potential of a renewed rivalry with an old foe. KRHD News reporter Hannah King tells us how local businesses are keeping the competitive spirit alive. For most, if not all here in Aggieland, Psalm Off is a way of life. And with the rivalry between the Longhorns and the Aggies renewed, it's time to revisit what the slogan means and where it started. They call it That School in Austin. This is the shirt started it all. Aggieland Outfitters' best-selling shirt, showcasing the Aggies' dislike for the burnt orange. As you can tell, it says you shall cut off the horns of the wicked because we think they are wicked in a lot of ways and the way they were trying, what they were trying to do with us. I paid my way through school selling t-shirts and it was more like a payback. I want to bring back the best to Aguiland. Selling shirts in Aguiland since the 90s is payback is Aguiland Outfitters and they sell everything Aggie. This is it. This is the what made Sodom off. Sodom off was trademarked by Aguiland Outfitters in 2007. The owner says UT didn't like it and even filed a lawsuit. They said it's creating confusion. What kind of confusion it is? We're sawing their horns off. Fadi Kalou says it's important to remember why Aggies want to saw horns off the Longhorns. At one point, TU wanted to put us down. They wanted to be the only University of Texas. That's why you see that TU is Texas University. There's just another Texas University. There are not a University of Texas. We have a lot more going on. Aggieland Outfitters now using those three words to help younger generations of Aggies. I really respect the owner of Aggieland Outfitters keeping it alive and keeping more traditions for A&M students. Her mother, Dodie, class of 96, remembers the rivalry between her and her Longhorn friends. And when they would come and stay the night, you know, when we would go and stay the night in Austin, and you know, it was a friendly rivalry. And so if they had a um, Longhorn sticker on their cars, we literally would go outside and we wouldn't damage their cars or anything, but we would saw the horns off and turn them upside down. And it was, it was all in good humor and fun and it was, it was just something that we did, and they did things to us, too. Kalaus hopes to keep this tradition on Aggie Minds for years to come. We kept going. We persist. We persist a whole huge lawsuit against them stopping us, but we didn't stop. I mean, you're talking a $19 billion university versus a small store in Cal Station trying to keep the tradition alive. With flags flying, signs lit, and T-shirts stocked, this business in College Station is helping keep traditions alive. Reporting from College Station, Hannah King, KRHD News. Hannah, thank you. Now, for decades, the Aggies and the Longhorns have been one of college football's biggest rivalries. The first took to the gridiron way back in 1894 and had yearly games from 1915 until 2011 and have not gone to toe, -to -toe, -to -toe since. But that could change with the coming years after the announcement that Oklahoma and the Longhorns plan to leave the Big 12 Conference by 2025 and head to the SEC. And the two foes could meet face-to-face -face once again on the gridiron.